Libra, oh Libra, what's popping, Libra gang? Gangity gang, 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 gang. What's going on, Libras? Did you miss me? Because hmm. hmm. I sure the hell missed y'all. Y'all know this damn Mercury retrograde. When they have water signs, you guys, y'all, it'd be very fucking intense for me personally. Simply because it brings up things that I thought that I had got rid the fuck of, but then, bam, check me out, just punch me in the face. You understand? So because of that, you guys, I wasn't quite done healing. So I had to go do my work, take care of Big Mama first. Then could I come to you guys? Because when I'm heavy, I don't like, I love you enough not to share that fucking energy, baby, because this girl be heavy when she heavy. Okay? So you guys, I love you all. Also... Hey, boo this is your first time viewing my channel. I'm Oka. If this is also your first time viewing my channel, look out, y'all. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to go find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? Thank you for the love, the likes, the, 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 likes, the love, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. The appreciation, y'all, the donations, the readings, just thank you so much from the humblest space ever. Thank you so very much, y'all. She couldn't keep it popping or whatever if it wasn't for you guys' support. So thank you. All right, Libra. Um, You guys really had some interesting energy, honey. Because for some reason, um, y'all always give me songs. And I'm gonna sing the song to you guys, but yeah, y'all, y'all had it, y'all had it going down. And so I was like, Libra, what the hell is going on? All right, um, but I'm gonna sing the song to you. All right, but also, you guys, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description box below. All right, um, the messaging will resonate with everybody. You know, take what does, leave the rest. All right, um, shouldn't have to say that, but surprisingly, we have to say that to grown ups. So because we do, <laughs> you guys. Also, uh, feel free to watch your sun, your moon, your rising, as well as your Venus signs for um, specific messages that you can't find here. Okay? So, with that said, Libra. Um, oh, and this will be for the month of November. Yes, I am still doing mid-month, y'all. Y'all know I got a lot going on with the whole move shit. This girl been busy. It's little old me. Ain't nobody else gonna fucking do it. Okay? So, with that said, excuse me. All right? Just dealing with my shit. I got a Libra rising. We talk about this all the time. Y'all going through shit. We going through shit, sis. Bro, pound me. Let's keep it moving because I love you. It ain't going to stop the way I love you. So, shit, I don't care if you mad. Cuss me out in the comments. I don't give a fuck. I still love you. So, anywho, I'm going to forget tomorrow. <laughs> anywho. All right, you guys. Um, For some of you all, I felt the sense of indecision. Like indecisiveness. I got ready to do you guys video today and I knew that I had to do you guys first, but for some strange fucking reason, okay, I was still looking in the damn deck, knowing looking at my deck that I've actually kinda of meditated on yesterday, last night really, in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep. But I didn't want to wake my son up, so I was like, All right, I ain't gonna record. You know, plus I had readings today, so I was like, I'm not I'm gonna interrupt shit. But I feel like also that was the energy I felt too with you guys. Distractions, okay? Some of you guys maybe have a lot of distractions, even with this Mercury retrograde energy. Yes, people popping up, but I feel like these are like distractions, even when especially around the household when it comes to um this could even be um distractions from your spouse or your partner, uh with they fucking pass and shit popping the fuck back up. For some of you guys I heard legalities. For some of you all, there is a fire sign man, Aries Leo Sagittarius, and I feel very heavily masculine energy. For some of you all, it is another uh air sign like yourself. Air I mean I say air some y'all it's a damn Aries. But I feel the a masculine energy very heavy. Some of y'all it is a Gemini Libra Aquarius person. And I feel like this person they coming for you. Some of you guys, they coming for you in a positive way, okay? No, somebody's not taking no for an answer no more, honey. They finna come. I don't know if some of y'all been um, a bit nervous of someone popping up on you guys or popping up. Um, But I definitely felt that energy of some of y'all, like, fearing somebody popping up or popping back up. Because there's still a sense of indecision on which way you're going to go because your heart is saying one thing and your head is saying another, Libra. For some of you all, you even may have old jobs that may contact you back during this time. Y'all got a lesson of self-worth, hella. 
and what you deserve and also this lesson in being selfish and the benefits the pros and cons i mean you guys weigh everything up but some of y'all been sitting on the decision that you got to make for far too damn long out of the comfort of other people and spirit is saying listen you ain't tired yet because bitch i'm motherfucking tired you ain't tired i'm tired we tired okay the song that you guys got was Ta-da! Trying to make you disappear. Make your ass invisible. Get the hell up out of here. Ding dong. The sound I'm waiting for. Your taxi's outside and the driver's at the door. Move. Won't you please disappear. Make yourself invisible. Get the hell up out of here. Please don't say my name. Why you acting so strange? Why you st 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 stuttering and trying? to explain little mo ta-da that used to be my shit back in high school okay i used to blow little mo ass up in here i know my people got tired of hearing um uh huh and missy elliott with that um the change said i changed the game baby change change the games that i used to play okay so leave it at some of y'all that's for y'all too they said i ain't singing for no damn reason some of y'all somebody wants to change the games that they used to play and you don't trust the shit you if so, your heart your soul has a remembrance of a particular situation circumstance person place a thing leave it, you put it where it go but okay some of y'all are trying to hold on to something and I feel like it's, it seems like it's a fight and you're willing to, and I, you've been willing thus far, but you're willing to put in the fight because of what you've already invested. But the lesson was in itself, baby, to discern what's worth and what's aligned with where you want to go when it comes to your investments. Because for some of you all, you're over investing in a situation that's a straight up liability in your fucking life period okay so with that said let's go ahead and get into your intuitive messages that i got within the session okay but when i start really digging deep into your energy i put this damn 963 hertz on <laughs> baby girl <laughs> something else happened we went somewhere else some of you guys are also having out of um out of outer body experiences during this time so um so there's a need for you all to ground yourself and protect yourself especially i don't know who this is for but somebody needs to put some damn salt um, around their bed or around their, I'm, I'm here around your bed, but for some of y'all, this could be around your, you know, like even at your bedroom door, especially if you have some type of roommate or room. Some of y'all feel like your roommate sending you some dark energy. You own the fucking money, Susan. Okay. Now with that, take it hot. Do what you want with it, but spirit wants you to put some salt around your shit. Okay. Libra, what you guys got in the intuitive session? Cause I don't want to make this a long ass video because I got six, six of them. To do so, Libra, what you guys got was ancestral interference, bitter liability, prosperity, temper, esoteric information, financial blessings, pathway, manipulation, revelations, spiritual teacher, mask off, karmic blessings, karmic lesson. Crown Chakra, Procrastination, Acceptance, Counselor, Healer, Past Life, Kitchen Witch, Breathe, Blockages, oh, I'm sorry, Blockages Removed, Insomnia, The Turnaround, Abundance, Forgiveness, Liability, okay? Libra, it's funny because I felt the energy kind of shift as I was doing them damn intuitive. And some of y'all, y'all felt that. Feel it down in my soul. Feel it down in your soul. Did you feel it down in your soul, Libra? When I said what I said. Because spirit, some of y'all is like, they like dope. Because some of y'all ancestors want to swell with y'all. Because you're not listening. You know what they said. But for some of y'all, this is about a tit for tat, and you're going to show somebody. Well, your ancestors and uh, universe, I'll show you. No shade. 
No shade. So I got leave rise and that made me scratch my little fucking head like, you know what? The shade. I'm dropping trees today, honey. So I had to be cute when I did it because I've been having throat chakra issues. They was like, oh no. My sword is ready to prepare today. <laughs> so I have my energy around the reading you guys got was the ten of I'm a ten. Queen of Diamonds. Okay. It's retrograde energy. Y'all ain't gonna lie, my speech gonna be fucked up. But I'm going to say that shit gracious. I might make up words. Just, you know what the hell I said. <laughs> Context clues. We be here. All right. So some of you all um, could be um, setting boundaries when it comes. I'm hearing family ties. Okay. So some of you guys, this could have to do with family ties. Some of y'all, someone could be trying to come out of nowhere with some type of legality issue regarding your children. Some of you guys are dealing with custody issues. And it's from a manipulative motherfucker who you said no to. And this person has issues when it comes to rejection. So instead of dealing with them damn issues, they're going to try and lash out at you. Karma and justice is within your favor. Okay. Uh, for some of you all, this has to do with you standing up for yourselves and your beliefs and what you want. You being true to yourself instead of being comfortable being comfortable trying to be a people pleaser some of y'all was really gonna learn a lesson about people pleasing okay in the month of november some of y'all could already be there now i throw another shield like a little cut like oof tell me about it mocha this is a time for you to really 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 think about what it is that you really want to do and only focus focus your intent from a focus your intent in a space of love from a space of integrity but integrity for the self. For some of you all, some of y'all are in, some of y'all left in an abusive situation. For some of you all, I'm hearing mentally abusive. Some of you all, this is still some type of like contemplation. Some of y'all intuitively know something is off, but you're sitting back and you're waiting because you're quietly putting putting your. <laughs> some of y'all are quietly. I'm hearing nesting elsewhere. Nesting. Some of you guys could also have a decision. There could also be talks about some of y'all could be pregnant and somebody feels quietly like someone's suffering in silence. Somebody feels that a child is not there. So it's like a catalyst situation to some of y'all have a some of y'all have a disruption. I'm hearing disruption coming in to be a catalyst. It's like the catalyst that you need to leave a situation. However, you still you still being called to okay exit with morale exit with morale Libra. some of y'all just don't up and just up uh, bye bitch <laughs> oh, oh yeah that's your problem this this is how I'm coming but just be careful with the delivery also watch your temper I know Mars was just recently in Libra I and mean, that Aries energy is hot okay so some of you guys um ground yourself some of you all are really needing to be outside outdoors during this time as well okay some of y'all could also have a strong uh, gravity or want to uh, need to be around water um and for some of you all the color yellow purple and green is going to be very significant to you all in the month of November Okay, so the angel message that you got was, you know what to do, by Archangel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay, okay? I definitely feel like something is getting ready to be illuminated to you if it has not already, okay? I definitely feel by the next full moon that we're getting ready to have, I believe it's in Taurus. Some of you all may have some great, some of you all have some type of business idea that's being guided. This could have to do with some type of a code practice, okay? Some of you all, I'm also hearing, um... I'm hearing spillware. So some of you guys could be um, making, I heard potions as well. So for for my Bruja gang that likes to play in the kitchen, okay, um, I feel that some of you guys are, some of y'all may be selling some type of, or you don't know how to market, you don't know how to market some type of idea when it comes to um selling like protection spells or selling like um protection protection potions or some sort y'all trying to get my ass banned what the fuck <laughs> but some of you all this has to do with speaking your truth okay and knowing that you are protected in the situation something is going to be illuminated for some of you all something that you got some type of clarity about or some type of crown chakra hit 
Now, when I say crown chakra hit, some of you all will reveal something through your crown chakra. For some of you all, this has to do with prim, uh, primitive, prim, it, will, it will reveal primitive. Some of you all could have premonitions or dreams or visions. Some of you all are prophets and prophets. Some of you all, um, this could also have to do with taking leadership in some type of like, taking leadership towards some type of pathway. You're making a decision to like be the teacher. Like some of y'all are in a teaching and learning type relationship. Like some of y'all, you are this person's karma. Hmm. Oh, and I, I mix my Barbieri deck with my, um, the, with the, has the zodiac signs and stuff in it. Um, I mix my Barbieri deck with the angel messages as well with my Oracle deck. And um, I, you guys, Aquarius just wanted to keep fucking falling out. So some of y'all just gonna have to do uh, with making a decision regarding Aquarius, which I feel like is going to bring balance to some. An Aquarian wants to balance the situation, and some of you guys don't know how to balance out a situation in fairness. In order to move towards the Aquarian, or this could be the other flip it high goal, Libra. But for some of you all, there's a sense of balancing, like there's justice. I feel I'm hearing justice in some particular partnership. However, someone is going to have to sacrifice. Somebody's going to have to sacrifice a self-proclaimed prophecy. Self. Okay, they say self-proclaimed prophecy. Maybe y'all know what the fuck this means, okay? This is your life. Next message I got for you guys is angel therapy. Archangel Raphael, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. You are being guided. And for some of you all, I feel like this death definitely has to do with matters of the heart and desires. For some of you all, it's a soul lesson. It's tied to a soul lesson. Some of y'all may even be shifting uh, between like time timelines or time zones. You guys are having soul remembrance, or y'all having awakening, awakening, awakening of the soul, awakening of the soul. Your soul is remembering aspects of the past life. So some of you all, your head is and your ego is has been guiding you in. A particular situation that you've experienced and acknowledge your soul, honor your inner God. For some of you all, to someone wanting to take this action with you, as well, someone wants to bring you something. Some of you all have an um, an ancestor that could be a grandma or mother. Um, that she could be of Spanish descent, or um, she could be um, like a Creole. It's very fair, fair skinned. Um, she doesn't look old like that. This could also be her and her in severe's form. Um, you, it's like this person is trying to hand you the torch. Like you are, you are being chosen. This could also have to do with inheritance for some of you all. There's a need for you to release your burdens, release your worries around material things. Because for some of you all, I feel like. This is a time of, I'm hearing time of receiving. It's harvest time for you guys. It's time for you to receive, but in order to receive, you're going to have to give, give, give up things or give away things. I'll be willing to release things that are not in alignment with where you're going or what spirit is trying to ascend you to, okay? Some of y'all, this is about being, some of y'all are gaining access to higher dimensions you're holding esoteric information some of y'all may have Virgo on your chart Scorpio you're holding on to esoteric information which you're supposed to be sharing which is why you feel stuck on, on which way to go as far as a path okay which has already been 19 20 minutes oh, Libra let's, huh. let's get these love messages out for Libra for the month of May someone write the Venus that's what the cross watches for the sign of Libra there may be some type of information that you guys receive or some type of um, some type of guidance or advice that you receive from an elder, from an elder man. This could be a father or a grandfather. This could come in dream form. This could also be you connecting with your ancestors. But I do feel there's going to be something illuminated to you and there's a need for you not to sit on it and pussy for people. Okay? Okay, so some of you all, this could be, yeah, some of y'all could be taking a leap of faith when it comes to love matters, okay? Some of you all are just saying, fuck it, I'm tired of overthinking yeah, some of y'all could definitely expect a damn water sign. Some of y'all don't know which way to go. 
in order to choose yourself, some I mean, of y'all have to make a make a decision to either choose. Hmm. In order for you to be happy, you may have to leave a situation where you have um, or a relationship where there's some type of practical tie to. I feel like you love both people, but I feel like in order for you to ascend, you're being called to choose. Your heart make a heart decision, not in not a head. I'm hearing an ego decision, a decision out of ego. Okay, for some of you all, you definitely are dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could definitely have children with this person. Y'all, this person loves you. They want to offer you something practical after you show they ass. If they don't get right, they can get left. Okay, but I feel like now this offer is being made. Now you're overthinking the situation here. Okay. For some of you all, you could be dealing with the sign of Aries. You're wanting to go toward this person and you're not realizing that you want to hold on to this situation. You or another person is realizing this about you. For some of you all, you're dealing with a um, Capricorn towards Virgo that needs to make a decision on where they want to be. Say, when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how I feel so sad. Now that I want to leave. She's crying in her heart to me. They just show me the towel while I'm singing this little bit. Hmm. Yeah, for some of you all, this has to do with that damn Aquarius, okay? Some of you guys, um, like, if some of you all are wanting to manifest your abundance. Some of y'all, you have a karmic, a karmic situation standing in the pathway of you uh, manifesting this abundance here, okay? Some of you all, uh, some of y'all got to make a decision. Some of y'all, there's four fucking people here, first off. Libra, some of y'all are dealing with, this could have to do with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or an Aries, okay, and an Aquarius, okay, some of you all have to make a decision on which way you want to move because I feel like for some of y'all, either you or another person loves two people. I feel like there's a couple here and there's a, there's a couple here, but there is a, couple that is Libra what the fuck y'all got going on there's a couple but there's a couple here and it seems like both parties of this couple is just only holding on for practical reasons out of like money stability comfort um because and this could definitely involve Aquarius um for some of y'all heard Leo so it's gonna involve a Leo a Scorpio or a Taurus okay it's definitely fixed energy here because someone is someone is somebody's willing to risk it out Libra. Okay, I heard risk it out. Somebody really wants to be happy, and I feel like it's been communicated over and over and over again. But you feel like either you or another person wasn't fucking listening. So somebody's finally telling the truth, saying it for one last time and making a move. Okay, if you some of y'all have a twin flame that is an Aquarius person, okay, for some of y'all, this person is an Aries person, all right, for some of y'all, this is going on for your partner, okay, but I do feel. The divine is intervening in the situation that needs to be supposed like I'm hearing contract has expired. Like this contract has expired here. This has to do with the soul contract. It has expired. The universe is now stepping in. And I feel like I'm hearing things going where they're supposed to go. If there were any if there was anyone trying to block a twin plan union, you guys, this shit is yeah, this shit's done. For some of y'all, this could have to do with the water sign. Somebody needing to cut a water sign off. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? For some of y'all, somebody needs to cut this fucking Virgo off in order for things to move forward. Yeah, for some of you all, damn it, okay? If you're dealing with a Taurus, because this shit keeps coming out, I'm really noticing them damn bulls right here. When it comes to, some of y'all are stuck in between. Do I want to work this shit the fuck out? Do I want to put in the work? Or do I want to just move forward with what I have and work, work on my damn self? Because this is now... Starting to drain my fucking pockets at this point. I can see, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Okay? So some of y'all, some of y'all, this has to do with investing in some type of commitment that ultimately I feel like the heart feels this. I'm fucking done, done, done. This could also have to do with a fire sign, Aries, Bill, Sagittarius, or a fucking Taurus. Okay? I'm done, 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 done. I know that I have to do this. Okay? Release this shit that I've invested in order to get here, okay? Okay, but however, I feel like that, that, that communication gonna come quick, fast. Quick, I feel like somebody is communicating on their way out the fucking door, okay? I said what I said. I meant what I said. You ain't hear me when I said it? Yeah. 
You're ending the cycle of half ass love in the month of November. And for some of you all, you're offering love to possibly, um, yeah, Libra jumping off this motherfucking wheel here. Yeah. You're offering love. You know, you get out of this space of indecision because you want abundance. You want happiness. You want fulfillment. Yeah, with someone, where someone wasn't communicating how they felt about some type of third party situation, somebody's going to act on it, okay? Somebody ready to risk it all. For some of you all, there's insecurities about completely walking away from a water sign or a water sign is having the hardest time ever releasing you, Libra. This person is refusing to do the inner work, though. They come in with ego, and I feel like some of y'all are willing to take this leap of faith with this damn water sign, but this water sign is holding on to a whole nother air sign from their past, or this damn earth sign that they got kids with out of stability, and you're done, 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 waiting for any motherfucker, so Libra, this, this in the month of November, bitch, <laughs> Libra, you're bringing the towers, okay? Some of you all, you got a fire sign that you got a family with coming in in the world to shake some shit up. I feel like for some of y'all, this has to do in a good way. You're expecting the worst out of a situation, but actually, it's actually going to go smoothly. This person wants to bring compromise in the situation. I am hearing let the rich grade pass for some of you all, especially if this is involving a Sagittarius. Put that motherfucker in your pocket for a second and keep your peace, okay? Because I definitely feel somebody's come to shake shit up to be manipulative or petty because they really, they make sure they do. But you are the teacher to this damn ego and all oh, they learning, okay? Um, for some of you all, you, yeah, some of y'all, a Leo that you could have been committed to or married to, this person wants to come back. Now, you ain't decided about this because this person, while you were separated, could have had some type of um, family situation or could have had like a child. For some of y'all, this person is coming back and you intuitively know that this person has a child on the way. But things are still not working out in their relationship. So they want to come back. Now, they want to come give you a genuine offer. This is the thing. This is why they couldn't put in the work over here because their heart was still with you with this person. I feel that it's coming. They're coming like I'm here right when you heal. Like right when you've healed, here come this shit. A lot of you all are having things unexpectedly come. Like you're planning things to go one way, Libra, but there's a need for you to adapt to things. Take on the energy of that Aries, okay? Fuck it, YOLO, you did? Like, we listen, are you willing to cut your hand off to save your arm? Because I, it, it'll, yeah, we, we got superpowers, it'll go back. I bet you, I bet you. They even got alternative routes for that shit, but at least you have enough money to pay for it. Listen, don't get me started, because my humor is dry as fuck. Y'all know I got Pisces and Gemini when they link up. Ha! <laughs> up in here. So, <clears throat> for some of you all, this has to do with past life karma and you gaining that sense of stability, but facing that fear, just jumping off the damn cliff, not knowing it's a damn parachute down there. And you're going to have victory. Whatever it is that you've been, whatever it is that you've been working on for my leaders who own businesses, you definitely can see some type of gain or increase in your business, baby, some type of growth. And for some of you all, the information, the information that you're needing to, to move some type of non-profit forward, it's going to come through, um, it's going to come through a, a collaboration, but I feel like it's a collaboration from the past that you're kind of being divinely guided to. <laughs> I got these. Mm -hmm. Some of you all, Libra, you got new love, baby. This person could be a new Taurus, a Pisces, an Aries. Gemini in this thing, Aquarius, Leo. Okay, no, the new is coming. For some of y'all, I'm also hearing this could be a renewal, especially if you have family. Some of y'all, Sagittarius, when it comes to build a beans, honey, they want to come put in the work with you, Libra, but they know they got to not come in hand because you got your fucking sword. But I do feel like you have to stop avoiding this conversation. Some of you all are coming, yeah, some of y'all are coming to bring the towels to this fucking person, okay? My coins, I've waited long enough. And justice is in your favor with doing so. Oh, Libra, let me give y'all some advice, honey. This shit here, y'all is not playing. I don't know if I just want to fucking cry, if I want to cut a motherfucker, if I just want to ask a bitch where my money at, or, you know, just move forward calmly. I'm doing my thing in the flower bath, y'all. Y'all too much. Listen. Got you, sucker. Okay, what advice do you have, my Libra? Hmm. 
Hmm. Already just nine. Completing this shit, Libra, is going to bring you harvest that you've already harvested in areas where you've already done the work and laid your seeds. This is a you blessing, not a we blessing. Shit been slowed down because you got to take this leap of faith. You got to take this leap of faith. Be patient with your damn self. You done waited many moons. You got to trust. And stop wishing, hoping, praying, looking on the outside in. There's a new vision. You, you got a new path. You can walk away. New pathway, baby. And some of y'all feel as if you're stuck in a situation on the outside, looking at people be free, looking at others. Stop comparing yourself to other people. You're clinging on to the past and it's making you sad. Stop it. Some of y'all holding on to a situation that you're not fucking happy in. And you know who your person is. But you want to stay with, you want to stay with misery because they like company. Hmm. Hmm. The switch up happens here. Okay. I love you all. You guys hit me up for a personal reading because this shit was the tea. I'm definitely having to make sure I, I got to throw a special out there for y'all. Y'all is some get money motherfucker. Y'all love some cheap ass people. Yes, y'all is. But I love y'all because I got liberalizer. <laughs> I don't pay for my money either. <laughs> I, ask, I got questions for everything, okay? Everything, everything, right? So I love you all. I send you all peace, love, light, and blessings, abundance, y'all, well wishes. Y'all protect yourself in this energy. These people, it's crazy. Love y'all, Libras. Bye.